aliquot method. In aliquot method, aliquot is an equally divided portion of a larger sample. For example, if we have an assam a sample of 15 MD, then the 5 MD is considered an aliquot. All right. And in this method, we measure a small amount of a drug by diluting a larger amount. Because the small amount of a drug is less than the minimum variable quantity of the measuring instrument. Minimum variable quantity is the amount under which the instrument cannot weigh the substance. Alright, for example, if we have an instrument with a minimum variable quantity of 20 mg, then we cannot weigh 5 mg of a drug with that instrument. And we will have to dilute that drug and then we will weigh that drug with that instrument. And this method is used for both solids as well as liquids. And these are the steps that are used in aliquot method. The first step is the calculation of minimum variable quantity, which is calculated by dividing the sensitivity requirement of our instrument with the percentage accuracy or percentage acceptable limit or percentage error. And this percentage is converted into decimal points. All right. And Next, we have an example with the 6 mg is our sensitivity requirement of the instrument and 5% is error. We will convert the percentage into decimal points and we will have 0 0.05. And by placing this in the equation, the minimum weighable quantity will be 120 mg. And the next step is the calculation of the total dilution and the amount of diluent that we will require to make that dilution. Formula is given where we will divide the amount of the drug that we need, the amount of the drug that we will have to weigh. All right, we will divide that by the minimum weighable quantity that we calculated in the previous step, and equals the aliquot divided by total dilution. And by rearranging the whole equation, we can calculate the total dilution. And now, how will we ha how will we have the aliquot here? The amount of the drug that we need. That we will have to weigh, we will multiply that amount with the first number that will give us the minimum weighable quantity or higher. Did you get that? For example, if the amount of drug that we have to weigh is 5 mg and the minimum weighable quantity is 100 mg, then what we have to do? We have to multiply 5 into the number that will give us 100 mg. For example, what we will, what we will do, we will multiply five with twenty to give us hundred mg. All right. Then our aliquot will be hundred mg. And the next step is the calculation of amount of diluent, which is calculated by uh, subtracting the aliquot amount from the total dilution. The third step is our preparation of the dilution. In the, in the previous step, we have our diluent, we have our amount of drug. By mixing both the drug and the diluent, we will have our dilution. And the next and the last step in our aliquot method is the separation of aliquot. We have our dilution. All right. We will now we will separate the aliquot from the dilution, and we will weigh that aliquot. All right. Now. There here are a few examples given. First example, sensitivity requirement is 6 mg. The amount of drug that we will have to weigh is 10 mg and the accuracy is 5%. First step was the calculation of minimum variable quantity. Here, minimum variable quantity is sensitivity requirement is 6 mg by dividing that with the accuracy in decimal, we have 120 mg. Now, after minimum variable quantity, what was the second step? It was the my calculation of uh, dilution and the amount of diluent. Before that, we have aliquot. What was aliquot? We will multiply the amount of drug that we need with the number that will give us minimum variable quantity or higher than a minimum variable quantity. The amount of drug we need is 10 mg. We will multiply that 12 to get us 120 mg. And next, we have our total dilution. First, we will multi uh, divide the amount of drug that we need, which is 10 mg, with the 120 mg, which is our minimum variable quantity, equals the aliquot, which is 
given in the uh, above step which is 120 mg divided by total dilution by rearranging the whole equation we have the total dilution which is equal to 1440 mg all right and the next step we have the amount of diluent which i already already told you by subtracting the amount of drug that we need or the minimum available quantity from the total dilution we have our amount of diluent which is equal to 1320 mg now after do, do going through the whole um, equation and the whole calculation we have our diluent we have our drug we have our total dilution all right by mixing the drug and the diluent we have our dilution which is 1440 mg now we will separate the aliquot from the total dilution and the aliquot should be equal to minimum viable quantity all right which is 120 mg now we will separate 120 mg from the total dilution of 1440 mg and 120 mg aliquot in the in the 120 mg aliquot we have 110 mg diluent and 10 mg drug and what was the minimum viable quantity it was 120 mg now we can calculate our drug which is 10 mg by diluting that drug in form of aliquot all right and in the next slide we have another, another example where the sensitivity requirement is 4 mg and the drug is 5 mg with the percentage error 5 sorry sorry the sensitivity requirement is 5 mg there is a mistake in the question all right the minimum available quantity we will divide the sensitivity requirement into 5, 5 mg and the percentage error in decimal points. We can have the minimum viable quantity which is equal to 100 mg. And then next step we have the aliquot by multiplying the amount of drug we need which is 5 mg into with the number that will give us the minimum viable quantity. And the number is 20. And we will have the aliquot 100 mg. Third step we have total dilution. The amount of drug needed 5 mg divided by the minimum available quantity which is 100 mg equals the what was it aliquot which is 100 mg and the total dilution by rearranging the whole equation we have total dilution 2000 mg now the next step is the amount of diluent which is by subtracting the amount of drug from the total dilution we have the amount of diluent 1900 mg that's all from my side thank you